Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to another Dragon City adventure. So in today's video, I wanted to explore the ancient world. So I've unlocked this a while ago, and uh, I wonder what it is, okay? I just wonder what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and basically take a look at it. So it says the ancient world. You've unlocked the new ancient world. Press the begin button when you are ready. So let's go ahead and press begin, and uh, I'm not sure what's going on. I guess it's... Something's happening, okay? Take a look at that. Alright. Am I supposed to press something or something? Oh! Alright, so what is this? Take a look at it. Get crystals from the mines. Collect crystals from the mines when they're ready. Okay? Um, use the crystals you've collected to summon the ancient dragons at the summoning building. So yeah, apparently you can go ahead and summon dragons. You'll need the platinum to restore buildings, upgrading habitats, and improve the performance of the mines. Rebuild and upgrade the mines to be able to get more types of crystals. Okay, you can use the raw crystals to craft refined ones at the crafting building. Uh, refined crystals allow the ancient dragons to evolve at the evolution building. They'll produce more platinum. 10x through the portal and discover new amazing elements in Dragon City. Okay, cool. Alright, so apparently I think they already give us one. And then we have to rebuild these other ones over here. Uh, this one they've already given us for free. Uh, it is a level 1. And um, it is a ruby mind. Mind. Um, let me see. What is this? This is a ruined sapphire mine? I don't know how to pronounce that. Let me see what else is there. Topaz mine. Okay. And there's more and more. Cool. So. Can we actually move some of these stuff around? I wonder. No we can't. It's just in there. You can't move them anywhere. <laughs> so I wonder where you could actually place the dragons. Do the dragons go to your habitats and stuff? Like here? Wait, how do I go back? I wonder where I have to go to go back. Oh, there we go. Never mind. It's down here it says back. So, all right. Um, but let's check this out. So we have the ruined breeding dome. So it looks like it's going to be a type of breeding thing. It costs 1 million to repair it and it only takes about precisely 20 seconds. Okay. Um, and what else is in here? We have the Evolution Shrine. Costs 750k. That's a summoning wall that does not need any repairing. The crafting workshop does not need it either. Um, maybe, wait, maybe the dragons that you obtain here does not go there. Because as you guys can see, there are some of these stuff. I don't know if these are temples. Oh, there are habitats. Habitats. Cool. These are some cool looking habitats. Oh, whoa. Okay. Let me see. Oh, you could actually purchase these with gems, of course. But um, how do you get more habitat? Like, is there a limit? Like, I mean, it's just how many are there? There's like about six of them. And I'm not sure if you can actually purchase any more habitats. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's take a look at the breeding tome. So apparently, you can go ahead and breed. You need at least two dragons to be able to breed. But how do I get the dragon? So the crafting workshop. This is the crafting building. Um, so you can craft this. What is it going to give me? Oh, it gave me one of those. I don't know what that is. I think it was a ruby or something. Um, so what is this? This is the evolution shrine. So I'm guessing this is where you evolve your dragon. It says evolve down here. Okay. Um, I do want to... Oh, you can mine them. Okay, let's rebuild these ones though. I don't have too many. It doesn't cost gold. It costs... Um, what do they call it? The platinum. It costs platinum, not gold. If it was gold, heck yeah, take all my gold. You know what I mean? But apparently you can summon these dragons that I'm guessing they're not breedable and you can't obtain it anywhere else in the actual Dragon City world. Um, so you can actually get them from here. And I need two more of those rubies, I believe. Wait, is that it? It was just two of these, uh, what do they call it? Yeah, rubies. So apparently, if you could just mine them, you can summon 13 or 30 seconds. Sorry, not 13, 30 seconds. Now you wait for it and um, you're going to have to check it out soon. So that's, that's cool. I'm excited. Um, so we can't, you know, evolve anything yet. Uh, we can go ahead and, for example, craft this. I don't know what this is, but we're just going to craft them and stuff. So there's 10 seconds remaining. We're going to wait for it. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Are you guys ready? Let's check this out. 
Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's so cool. That is actually awesome. Congratulations, you've obtained the Guard Angel, Protector of the Heavens. Would you like to share this with everyone? No, thank you, but thank you for giving me this dragon. Look at this thing. That's cool. It's flying. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. So I'm guessing I can only um, put one dragon in here for now. Unless, of course, I upgrade it. And to upgrade it, you need 560 Platinums. Um, you can actually collect the Platinums from the habitat here so to evolve it once again oh we can actually evolve this thing it was the ruby that was needed or whatever it was um apparently we can actually do this so let's go ahead and wait no we're missing crystals okay so i believe i could get those crystals from here but i might be wrong so i'm gonna mine it real quick and um we're gonna check it out so when you mine it, I believe it only costs gold, right? So not that much um, gold anyways. So you can continue doing that. Um, and it's, I think, every 30 seconds or so. But if you upgrade it, I believe, the time will be longer and it'll give you more, you know, these um, things. But yeah, it only costs 15,000 gold and you can continue mining over and over again. But let me go ahead and quickly see if I could evolve it now. I can actually evolve it. Take a look at that. Ooh, look at that thing. Alright, so we evolved it to level 2. That's cool. I can't evolve it, of course. Makes sense. But yeah, I think it's at level 2 now. Or rank 2, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm going to continue uh, mining that. But this one right here is going to be done in about 26 minutes precisely. Um, so I'm going to have to get back, and then once that's done, I'll probably... I get the runes Tovaz mine, and uh, we also have the emeralds mine, the onyx, and diamond mine. That's the last one, the diamond mine. So, this is good. Uh, you can just, once you unlock every single one of them, what I recommend doing is probably upgrade them. You know, get them to a higher level, so you can produce more of these stuff. Um, but let me see, I can't actually evolve this thing, I can't, I nope. So, um, I'm gonna have to collect more of those. But look at this, it's not giving me anything. How long do I have to wait? These things are kind of slow. They're not giving me anything right now. Uh, like, no. Zero. It's zero still. It is still zero. <laughs> um, but let me check out the crafting workshop. We can go ahead and craft this, for example, real quick. We could also craft a pure ruby. 158. And now I have two left. I'm gonna mine it again. I'm gonna continue mining, get as much as I can. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna check later to see if it's gonna give me any of these um, platinums from this habitat. But I wonder, um, aside from basically collecting it from this habitat, where else could I actually get platinums from? I do not know at the moment. Um, I'm gonna quickly mine this. So yeah, if uh, once again, I can't breathe anything right now, but uh, after 25 minutes, once I get the blue, once, right? It's called the Ruined Sapphire or something. Once I got, get that, and then I could get another, or what's it called? Craft another dragon. What I can do after is um, combine those two and see what else I'm going to get and continue doing that, basically. You know what I mean? And get as many as possible. Uh, but that's cool. That is actually pretty cool. Um, but unfortunately, I do not have enough of these Platinums, so I can't, you know, do that third one. We're gonna have to wait for the second one. And, uh. Oh! <laughs> we got one. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna take a while. Seriously. Like, that right there, I think, took about two or three minutes or so um, just to produce one of those platinums. So just think about it. Probably in an hour, it's gonna be like 15 max. I'm not sure. That's just a like pure guess. Um, maybe there's a, something in the info. So the capacity is 150, uh, but it doesn't tell you how much you get per minute. If I told you that, that would have been nice. I feel like that would have been a nice thing, but unfortunately it does not. And I think to upgrade this, I still need Platinums. So I'm going to have to do that. Um, unfortunately, I cannot evolve this, can I? Nope. 
Uh, so it's just going to be at level 2 and um, I still can't breed or anything. What is the setting option? Oh, never mind. Okay. So I'm going to do this one more time and then we're going to head back to our Dragon City world. So that's actually kind of cool. I really wanted to discover that thing for a while. Like it's been a long time. Um, I wanted to check that out for a while and finally we actually had the chance to do it in a video. So that's cool. Um, I'm gonna quickly do my maze coin collection though, okay? So I went ahead and hatched a nebula dragon by the way. Um, it's a heroic one and I haven't had the chance to actually feed it up. I wanted to do it in a video, but um, fortunately, things, I've just been busy, okay? But um, finally, I can go ahead and to get this guy up to maybe like level 30, maybe more than 30. I have like 7.66 million. So I think that's enough to get this guy up to level 30 or something. So we're just going to quickly feed it up. Here we go, level 20. Did I unlock this? Oh yeah, I did unlock the um, adult skin. We're going to quickly get it to level 25. Look, look at how much food I'm actually spending. So much. Alright, it's at level 28. And we're getting closer to level 30. I guess we could quickly get it to level 35 as well. Man, look at how much food that is. Level 34. <laughs> level 35. And I think that's the highest I can get this dragon in Um, So that right there is level 35 in Nebula now. Um, I think that's my highest dragon so far. Just for now. Oh, wait, never mind. I Erden is at level 35 as well. Who else is at 35? Life Melt? So I have three level 35s now, cool. Um, so let me actually test out all these dragons all at once. And I can't do it in arena, so let's just do it in leagues. Let me quickly change this. We're gonna put in high nebula. And we're gonna put in... Where is life? There we go, we got life melt. Okay, cool. Let's go up against this. I hope I can actually win this. Let's see, let's check this out. So they're level 30s. Oh yeah, 100%. I have to win this. Okay, none of them are strong. I'll just go with the ghostly blades. 12k damage. We'll just do rainbow. Um, This dragon's skills aren't really that bad. Like, actually quite good. Okay, you're almost dead. So let me go ahead and switch it to this. We have tel uh, Tesla Ray. We can do about, I don't know how much damage that was, but we did a lot. And we'll do Tesla Ray again, eliminate you. Now it's just the Mr. Beast Dragon. Oh, Life Melt unfortunately got eliminated. We'll just do Sandstorm here. 21k damage. And we'll just do Slash of Ages or something and eliminate. And that right there is victory. Cool. Alright, so I might actually learn or train this dragon and learn a new skill here so this does 99 damage 39 85 okay so 99 is the most huh let's just go ahead and learn that then oh aurora skill nice all right it's taking about 23 hours for that to finish but anyways guys that's going to be pretty much it for today's dragon city video i hope you guys enjoy if you did go ahead and drop a like and also subscribe with notifications on and i'll see you guys on the next one so